you're claiming that in February of 2021, everything had been great, and yeah. all of a sudden she comes in one day and basically pushes you. Yeah. She said she wants the bed she gave me. I said, oh, do you need them now, or let me go and okay. come back? Stop. Do you agree with that? Um, so I, I thought to ask for the bed back, because she had the frame that I had let her have just folded, just there. So I thought, if she's not using it, I need it back. I was starting to feel like I was enabling her. Okay. So I was like, you know what, no more. She would keep all the dishes in Can her room. Did you push her? No, actually, she pushed me. <laughs> what happened? Did you go, go into her room and... Um, she told me, you get it, you get it, you get it. So I, I said, okay, well, open your door. You know, her door was about this much, because... Hold on one second. You need to stop. <laughs> Put your hand down. You need to step out and control yourself. Stop interrupting these proceedings. Mm. Ms. Amafini, I think one of the things you don't really understand is that one of the things we have to figure out is who is more believable. And when we see you totally unable to control yourself, we try to say, gee, you both claim that the other one pushed the other one. Don't you think we're gonna assume it's the person that can't even control herself in a courtroom? You're just hurting your case. I'm Ms. sorry Gomez. about that. Okay, Ms. Gomez, so, so um, you claim she pushed you. She, yeah, she wanted me, she said, you get it. So I said, okay, open your door, I'll get it, you know? But she was already worked up somehow. So I said, I'm gonna do this, you know, as quick as I can. So I tried to take the frame out and, and she pushed some stuff okay. towards me. But she did get shocked though, because when I fell all the way down and I couldn't get up, she said, oh, mama, mama, I'm so sorry. You know, she turned into the panicky kind of, I'm like, don't touch me, you know? Uh, Ms. Abafini, I understand you've brought a video here. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Okay, what is the video of? The video that shows exactly what she does to me. I never laid my hands on her. So let's watch the video. Okay. This is what I want to eat on the floor. What's happening? We've been living as one happy family. What's the problem? What? What's the problem? Oh my God. We, were, we are a happy family over no, here. No, 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 no. If the, if the, please, can you return my stuff? Can you return, can you return my stuff? You will return no. it. Okay, leave no. it there. Let them come and see it. You complain you didn't see where you walk on the walkway. Mm. Now look at my stuff on the floor. Mm. I don't know how to look for trouble. You are just looking for trouble now. <laughs> so this fight was about some stuff that you left in the common area. No, I wanted to cook. Because the previous day, I was boiling water beside the, at the socket beside the gas. She came and used her feet to push it. So I made up my mind that to avoid problems, let me use the socket just by my space that okay. I'm paying for. And that was how I was boiling beans in my crock pot on my microwave. It was not on the floor. She uh. came, threatening me that she's going to throw it out. I never said I was going to throw out. I would never throw any food out. But she put the crock pot in the hallway. And the hall is very important to keep clear because it's fire hazard because our rooms are in the back. So. I had nightmares because she would burn everything in the stove. I was always on alert, high alert. Like if anything would happen, just jump out the window. I mean, gotta save our life, right? So I was always on the high alert. So